Hello, Jarvis. It's, uh, it's good to be here. Thanks for having me. Guys, what bar are we going to tonight? Ain't no laws when you're drinking claws, baby. That's it. My bad or all. No, no names, bro. No names. Oh, fuck. I'll edit that out. He was teaching a strategic management class. He says we're misbehaving. So you know what? He flunks them. All of them. Welcome to the pregame podcast. I'm not fucking leaving. With your host, Joshua Jarvis. Look at him. Josh Jarvis, and today we have Jake and Evan here to join what's up, us. Man? How you doing? Hey, what's up? Not much, not much, guys. So today we're going to be talking about uh, me and Jake's old house, Woodmere. You may have heard it in a previous episode. Yeah, um, I guess it's everyone's house. It's a fucking shithole is what it is. Yeah, it's a fucking shithole. Um, pretty much everybody's house. We're going to talk about uh, basically the security bot se- uh, sec- security deposit. Zit settlement. What? It's fun shit. What? Get some evaluation on that paper right there. We just worked out. We're a little bit hyped up. Yeah. We're all hyped up. A lot of caffeine. But whatever. We're talking. <laughs> we're talking. Oh, enough caffeine to kill a fucking baby. <laughs> Chill the fuck out. Yeah. But um, we're talking about housing damages. Uh, pretty much. From our past houses, and uh, most importantly, we have our. Is that the security deposit note? So you know. Yeah. So we're gonna be reading off the notes and kind of explaining everything. All the way down from uh, broken decks, holes in the wall, um, missing doors, screens, all that kind of shit. Yeah, but... So, just, first things first, though. Oh, I just wanted to give some background. Um, or you want to talk about flashlights? No, I all want right. to talk about flashlights, man. Right, let's just give some background mm-hmm. on... It's pretty obvious that when you move into a house anywhere, you have to pay a security deposit when you're renting. So, uh-huh. on that bill, what does it say? How much do we have to pay? So, we pay a total... Security deposit of fifty six hundred dollars and twenty five dollars. And how much do we had? Were we? Re, how much were we refunded? You'll find out at the end once we run through all the damages. I think you should just throw it at him right now. How much is on that bill? Yeah. So we got back four hundred and twenty nine dollars and fifty. Woo! Cents. So they took. Woo! So we created fifty two hundred dollars worth of damage, which is it's it's unreal. That's what's like this too we? Much. What's this we? You're you're included, dude. You're Don't, definitely included. You hey, fucked up. Honestly, right. I think I think the more people from the outside who did live in the house did more damage than the guys inside. Hundred yeah, percent. No, 100%. the window and the deck was one of the biggest ones. Yeah, and the trusses needed for the basement. Yeah, we'll we'll break it all yeah. down in there. Yes, but first things first, I want to talk about flashlight. So. If you're just a single guy or even in a relationship and you just have a great connection with your right hand, look no further. You know, they have the best pocket pussies on the market. Evan Hill can't even handle the best pocket pussies on the market. And if you're looking to get the best pocket pussy on the market, whether you're trying to imagine a blowjob, this, that, the other, look no further. Fleshlight is here to help you. If you're trying to get this shipped to your mom's house, your grandma's house, anything like that, they have discreet... Shipping, so they won't think it's anything but an Amazon package. So to actually go and get your flashlight today, all you have to do is go to flashlight.sjv.io forward slash the pregame podcast. So go get your flashlight so you don't wear out your right hand and use up use up a shit ton of lotion. Yeah, great job, Jarvis. Yeah, click the link at the uh, at the bottom of the description. It'll be in the description. You can't miss out Jake pouring his pop off in the fucking Natterday can. Like I'll do when that you were doing the Adderall, I just look over. He's pouring the fucking pop off, and they're just like, "What?" <laughs> so flashlight is the buy shit. the fucking flashlight. Yeah, it's great. It's great shit. I promise. We tested it out seconds. last night. Uh, Jarvis took yeah. a quick five minute one. I was in there for about three. But... As someone who has taken yeah, a flashlight in the face. face, yeah, I've got hit in the face with a flashlight before. Solid rubber and silicone. Ooh, you got a boner. I did. Yeah. I bet it's not the only time you have something hit your face like that. I've had a few things hit my face. Yeah, me too. The big old titties. Yeah, that's a plus. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, first things first. What's the first order of business on that? Yeah, well, what's your... First thing was remove banner. Oh. Remember what? that? There's a lot of banners. What banner? No, the one banner was uh, during the U of M MSU game. Oh, oh. yeah. 
That wasn't even a funny banner. Where I, where I was it was under, a pretty funny no, banner. No, no, it, it, it was where I was undermined again by Brennan, because he thinks he's so fucking funny. I, I had a very funny caption before that. What was it? Um... I know it's funnier uh, than Harbaugh goes to office hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, <laughs> yeah, that was not mine. That was definitely um, like Brennan's. Mm-hmm. I forgot what I... Something about... Was it... Oh, did I something about the mumps? Because that's when... Yeah, m- yeah. Mumps were like the thing like around the U.S. Yeah. It was probably year. Harbaugh has mumps. Probably something like that. Yeah. Probably something like that. And then Brennan was like, oh, that's not funny. You got... And he was not going to do any work either. He was just going to fucking sit there <laughs> and watch us spray paint and oh, hang it up. Oh, yeah. but I, I got came up with the fucking... Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so it's tradition to hang a bed sheet or a banner on your house when it's game day. You know, spray paint it black. Big rivals. All that. Um, we, we've been doing it for years. There's actually one point at MAC, um, Jarvis and I decided to spray paint a banner. This was for New Year's. And we, we were spray painting indoors, and the fucking fumes got so bad that <laughs> wow. Josh Murray came upstairs and was freaking out again. That's a side note, but... Yeah, he got pissed. Yeah, he was really mad. Rightfully so. Rightfully yeah, so. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. But we have quite an experience with uh, spray painting and banners, and last year at yeah. this house, we had a, quite a few. Right? We had, like... We, I know we did one for Michigan. Um, we had the the, the, the Kinko's batter, banner for uh, John McCain. Oh, yeah. We, oh, we, yeah, we, that, 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 was, that was for party. How much did they inside. charge us to remove it? It was $50. To what? $50 to go up on the roof and remove For it. For like an hour of work. We would, have, we would have took it down. Yeah, they should have just told us. I had ladders. The ladders were out. You could have just gone through the windows upstairs to get on the roof. Remember you kept ladders yeah. on the roof? Yeah, I kept ladders on the roof. and then fu- Because drunk people would try to put it up and get on the roof. The roof was a shit. Man. What was this try? We succeeded multiple times. Yeah, but, and guys totally put up the ladder wrong. Could have killed yourself. Definitely wasn't OSHA certified. Uh, a, la- OSHA. A, ladder can't, a ladder can't kill me, dude. What? Yeah, nothing can kill you, Jacob. Yeah, nothing can kill Jacob. <laughs> Especially a pussy ass ladder, dude. I used for fire glass. Ladder ladders. versus hockey stick? Which one wins? Yeah. Ladder stick. L- ladder. <laughs> <laughs> ladder. Ladder stick. Ladder, yeah, that's the answer. <laughs> All right, we have a new conclusion. Ladder stick wins. Yeah. <laughs> when you get that good evolution on the ladder stick, it does the most damage. Ladder stick nails it. So, um, other than the banner, we also have the deck. Yeah, so anyway, that that, 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 that's probably the smallest bill on here is the banner, right? 50 bucks? Yeah. Actually, no. Uh, signing. When they were uh, signing. So, yeah. So, that was early in the year. They got that banner taken down. That wasn't too big. They weren't so, you know... We just moved in. We didn't create too much damage. That, yeah, was, that like, was like a little free pass. Like, it's a oh, fucking banner. Guys are fine. But then next, we broke the fucking deck. <laughs> <laughs> so that kind of just puts things into perspective. Like, oh, fuck, we're a bunch of idiots. And how much did that cost? That cost... So I went to Kron, and I negotiated on it. Yeah. Because with the deck, it was already to shit. Yeah. And I, I looked at where it broke, and it wasn't like a fresh break... Like, it was all routed out. Yeah. So, I was like, okay, you know, that wasn't totally all of us. They wanted to originally charge us, like, 500 bucks. I talked to them, like, hey, like, if it was a fire emergency, I looked at our lease, and everybody can have one guest. So, we yeah. have a total of 22 people in the whole house. I'm like, if there is a fire emergency, and both, like, one exit was blocked in the yeah. middle of the floor, and everybody just rushed out that door, that deck would have broke. Yeah, and again, this goes back to the point that... It wasn't us directly who broke this deck. It was just the people. You know, we had so many people over there. I mean, I guess it's us, our fault, but uh, we have what? How many people were on that deck when it broke? Oh, uh, you remember? Who, who I was there. I was like, I walked outside. I just heard a, I heard the crunching. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And then you just see it just collapse completely. It was, it was pretty funny. Everybody's like, woo! I don't know where I was at. I didn't see it at all. I think I. You were in your dungeon. I think. I, yeah, you're definitely... The only time I saw it was the next morning when we went to lunch and we were just jumping on it and it was like... Oh, yeah, we were doing retards. <laughs> it was like... It was, it was, it was uh, like a trampoline. It was, yeah, it was like this wooden trampoline. It was pretty cool. Yeah, and it was slick, slick as dog shit, too. Yeah. Oh, it was so slick. I just like how carefree we are that it just broke and we know it's a, it's a giant-ass deck and we're just so okay with just jumping on it further and just being idiots. That's just how we were. We had a hot tub. Oh, was there a hot tub on there? No, no, no. It, it was on the other deck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, I guess we can talk I bought, about the, I bought that hot tub. Yeah. There, My we, hot tub. Was there two? No, no there's there only one. one. Yeah, we had this idea in the beginning of the year we are going to start hot tub club and we were going to have like hot tubs inside the house and outside. Like, yeah. They didn't really go to anything. They really Because we were too lazy to fucking clean it. 
That's that, yeah. That's you funny. guys never clean that hot tub. It was always me, every single time. Well, I helped. Well, I had some help. Oh, yeah, we I whipped out the power washer, power yeah. washed it real quick. But um, I think you need more than a power washer sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was Until my power washer shit. got stolen. That. That's so weird how that happened. That's impressive. Who just like fucking yanks a power washer? Like, Crackheads, dude. Those crack crack Look at this nice pressure washer. I need a couple rocks. Yeah, they'll just scrap anything, dude. Yeah. I got ten shillings for that. Ugh. Shillings, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the deck. That, that's a that's a big part. I I mean, I've only lived in two houses, but I've never ran into a problem, or I just I've never heard of anyone else like on this campus breaking their entire wraparound deck. Have you guys? No. No. I mean, I, mean I, I think there was one house on Linden that I saw that was caved in, but I don't know if that was from people, probably, but it's a hard thing to do, you know? Was it, uh... It was, um, you know, like those... Was it the old house? The historic district? The old, old house? Do you remember house? that? Do you, no. Sunset. Not it's Sunset. Huge... Sunset's in no, the no, 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 no. With, uh, the merged fraternity. Yeah, do you remember that they're, like... Their back the yard fire had a huge deck? Yeah. That caved in? Yeah, remember that? Do you know, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a big one. That was a huge deck. And that, yeah. Um, oh, really? That was them? It, it could have. It, sh- it should have been. Whatever. Their house yeah, it's, I mean, these these management companies around East Lansing, they're not putting a lot into these decks. I mean, yeah, they're big and they look strong, but cheap wood, you know, cheap fucking bolts yeah. and braces. I, I don't know. Do you remember how that deck was built or no? Um, It was very simple. And shittily. Yeah. Of well, it shit. wasn't shittily built, if shittily's even a word. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's a word but uh, it it was it was just old. Yeah. And it just caved in. But uh, now, looking at this uh, d- security deposit settlement, the next charge isn't until January nineteenth. Oh yeah. So give the dates be- before. So the banner and repairing the deck was uh, October eighteenth. And then the next charge is in this little January. You know what? You know why I think that is? It's not because that we. It's because that's when they fixed it. It's that, is that. That's because when they found out or you know started to do rounds. Exactly. Yeah. Because there was a lot of fucking damage in that that first semester. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Oh well, yeah. What, what is the charge for? The next one is uh, rekeying the whole place and replacing <laughs> broken windows. Why did they have to rekey it? Do you remember? What happened? Hitchcock. Oh, yeah, and there's yeah. also homeless men breaking in. I actually walked into a homeless guy at 4 a.m. in my room stealing my money. <laughs> I was oh. the only one up. Everyone else was passed the fuck out, and I, I, it was scary as fuck. People just walked in the house all the time. At the time, my fucking key was gone or something. Whatever. But you lost your key. You all. lost your key like you fucking lost your I, senses, dude. Surprisingly, I still have my key. It's in my dorm right now. <laughs> we threw ours away. Really? I'm we really actually got charged for it. We got another charge. But, uh... Yeah. 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 Left and took his key. Yeah. And we had to get the whole place rekeyed because we because Chris moved in. Yeah. And we needed a new set. Yeah. So they had to rekey the whole place. Which, you know, isn't that bad. That's routine kind of that happens. It it, sort it of. is what it is. It came out of his part of the security deposit because he definitely didn't get shit back. Yeah. Nobody did actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but broken windows. Uh, that wasn't us. Was it? No, we never broke a window. What was, window? What window broke first? Was it the top? No. It was the one we know the guy. It was your window. Oh yeah, those. All right, so oh, I remember. Yeah, during game days, the fucking asshole pledges were trying to maneuver a table. around. I remember that. Yeah. No, they're yeah they're trying to maneuver a table around and they were trying to put it in the back and prop it up against the house, but they put it down into the. Uh, the little uh, fire escape area where my window is, and they just rammed up the table, you know, against my window, and it cracked. And then another time, Brennan's fucking retard ass was trying to wake me up on, on a game day and was, like, smacking a water bottle against the window, and he cracked it even further. Yeah. Prick. Fucking prick. And, you know, I there's nothing you can do but just, be, just sit there. Imagine if I lived there instead of Brennan, because I had the opportunity yeah, to... Yeah, you should have, dude. It would have been fucking <laughs> No, great. Brennan, I would have... <laughs> You remember why we actually moved Brennan in? Mm, mm, mm. Oh, oh yeah, that's why. Yes, that would have been so bad. Because I had the that first. Terrible. It would have been so. Yeah, because you guys asked me, and I'm like, "Nah, I'm living in an apartment again." And they're like, "And then you guys went to," and then to Brennan, and then we dropped. Yeah, and then you guys asked. Yeah, 
That would have been so bad. I'm so glad Dude, it didn't happen. If us two lived in that basement, it would have just been trapping 24-7. 24-7. It would have been bad if I lived in the house. <laughs> like, you thought the destruction was bad without me living there? I so should have lived in the basement, but I could not. Dan would have killed you. Slip off. Dan would have. I would wake up every morning at 8 a.m. and probably blow Dan would have killed you. He would have killed you. Well, I, you would have killed I mean, Dan didn't legally live there, so he had no. You would have no power. <laughs> True. Dan... Yeah, Dan always thought he had the most power, even though he was not even on the lease. He, he wasn't was on the lease at all. He slept in a closet. Yeah, sh- yeah oh. Dan, if you listen to this, you have no power. You have no power. You're not the king of anything. You'd get mad when I'd show up and just start being a DJ. You're, you're the king of Grable OG Plodge. Skunk. <laughs> OG Skunk. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Dan for buying an $80 ounce of weed. <laughs> that's, dude, that's Law of Palooza Day. Basically, it was... A five minute headache after hitting it. <laughs> Pretty much. And that was it. But you know, I shout out to Dan though on a side note. He did smoke us up, but dude, like OG skunk bro. Well, he smoked you out with OG skunk. It's it's kind of an insult, you know? It's like I'd be offended. Yeah. That shit was drier than the Sahara. It was terrible. It was straight terrible. Yeah. Yeah, we smoked a lot in that house. We did. What a lot of weird shit. Remember you were starting fires? Oh, yeah. No, you were helping me start those fires. Yeah, you were building... That was when we had our case race with the 15 packs. Yeah. From the I, mean, it was, I think it was just you and I. It was literally just us two just drinking, and Dan comes out like, what the fuck's going on? It was you and, and then there, there's a Coke bottle on fire. Then we fucked around with the fire extinguisher. Then we went outside, I lit all the little seizure boxes on fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have the video on my Instagram We should that. talk about fires. How much? How many couches did we burn in that house? Oh, oh. A ton. Like four? A ton. No. The futon? The shitty couch they got pissed on or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then my a couch. Bed. And a chair. Destroyed. A bed. We burned a chair. And a chair. <laughs> and a we bed. Just bur- Remember that night we didn't even wear and a game? And your box spring we burned. We just burned We burned a mattress, shit. dude. It was all melted. It, there's still yeah. a mark there in that parking lot from that mattress. Because we burned uh, multiple shit there. Yeah, the only way... So our uh, theory to get rid of junk in the house was just to burn it, you know? Okay. Yeah. It's like good for the environment, I guess. Yeah, yeah, burning plastic and stuff, yeah. <laughs> it would have just went to the landfill. So, you know, we were doing the, the green the green friendly thing. To, yeah, green. green. Like, it's like an incinerator. It was great. We never got caught. I think at one point, mm. ELPD did, like, post some cops out. Yeah, they definitely posted up. And then we, we started were... throwing eggs and shit over there. And yeah, yeah, we started yeah. throwing eggs at them. Yeah. And that wasn't even a game day. We were just bored. Yeah. yeah, which turned into a whole other egg war with the neighbors, and that got pretty bad. Yeah, I missed that. Yeah, really it was bad. It's like a gang war. Well, we can talk about that some other time. It was definitely a gang war. What were we talking about? Uh, um, windows? We were talking about the windows. Windows. And broken windows. I don't even think we got to the window. Those those two charges, though, amounted to $462.44. Oh, that's just, was that inflation? Well, it's labor and materials. What, what fucking windows are they buying? Oh, let's talk about the laborers that are doing this labor. <laughs> who do not deserve these 40 an hour wages who are just getting high the whole time. You know it's not actually $48 an hour. <laughs> I, I, I know, get paid. I know, I know. They get paid like 20 One fucking guy, when, when he was fixing my ceiling uh, over, I think it was in the spring because it was leaking from all the frozen water. Yeah. And that guy, I was watching, I forgot what uh, PGA Tour was on. That dude was just like sitting on my couch with me, watching golf and like <laughs> drinking beer with me. And like he's like talking about, I was like, dude, like I wanted to say, can you start fixing this man? Because like you know, I, I don't want to sit here and talk about whiskey. He was talking about whiskey with me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about Japanese whiskey, and I was trying. Where was to, I for that? I don't. It was just it was dude, it was the worst situation ever because it was just me, him, and Adam. Oh, God. Adam. <laughs> and is Adam, Adam just encouraging it? Adam yes. is just fucking adding fuel to the fire? Yes. He's Adam. like, yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was. I think, I think it was... I think I was so friendly because it was a day that... I, it was I, It was close to finals. And I, I took some Adam. I think I probably bought something off of Adam. I took it. And I was feel, I was like, you know, I was kind of in a spirited mood. I was like, willing to talk. And I'm just sitting here with these two retards, like one on a spectrum, like the, you know, Adam, the super crazy retard, and then I had this guy just like jawing my ear off about whiskey. It was terrible, dude. Just fix my fucking ceiling because there's water sprinkling everywhere. Like, dude, it was, yeah, it, it was bad. Those maintenance guys, I make forty eight dollars an hour. I bust my ass. I was like, dude, you you seriously? They would always post up at our house, especially in the summer. They would just we chill. were playing we were, we were playing GTA, <laughs> and they're like. You know, it's 5 o'clock in about, you know, 30 minutes, and we don't have anything else to do for the day. And, uh... <laughs> Dude, they were smoking pot the whole time. Like, did they ever take a hit of uh, Dan's bong? I'm sure they did, right? 
Yeah, I, I think at one point they definitely did. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys made friends with the Kron worker because they were there so frequently. They were there all the time. Alright, so we got a bad rep of Kron in the uh, beginning of the semester when they cut up our, our beard eye table. Remember oh that? my yeah, they, god. They made last the year so, before. Yeah, so they, they thought it was a previous tenant, you know, and it wasn't, it was ours. <laughs> so we wake up one morning to the sound of a chainsaw and one of the crackhead crown workers just cut, <laughs> cutting it to pieces well the reason why they thought it was the previous tenants because it was at our old house mm-hmm. and we wanted to throw this huge St. Paddy's Day ban- yeah. banger there so we brought it over yeah. and we kept it there but we were like okay like we'll just keep the box here until yeah. we move in no need to even move it yeah. and then they just thought it was the previous tenants yeah which was bullshit and uh I go out there. And I just go like, what, what the, fuck the guy is going was wearing thick ass sunglasses. I go, I go, whoa, 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 what, what the fuck is going on? And he goes, hold on, buddy. He turns off his chainsaw. And he goes, what did you just say to me? Like, 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 like my fucking dad. And we get in this <laughs> argument. I thought he was about to punch me, honestly. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? That's ours. It's like our property. He's like, nope. I got, I got orders from Crown to chop this up. Blah 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 blah. Anyway, we get really in. Like, it was heated. It was heated. Jarvis was came so and he. Settle it down and, uh, or I, but I just finished painting that thing. Yeah, I know. Like it, I whipped it, out my sprayer. Yeah, sprayed that shit real quick. Yeah, it was we, looking. We good. spent like like a hundred, nearly a hundred dollars on building. Yeah, that. remember when we were transporting that to the MAC house? With that that was a bitch, dude. I was literally falling behind Nick. Nick was going like ten miles an hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we had to haul that wood from home on top of a Ford Focus. <laughs> yeah, we were like holding it like this. And I'm just know. behind you guys, like I'm so glad I'm not in that car. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, so that got cut down, and then, like, that was early August, or late August, and... and no, no, that was dipping in September. Yeah, but that was... That was well, definitely in September. But that, that was just a wrong... Because we definitely had tailgates with it. Uh, yeah. It, but it was just not a good way to start off with your, your management company, and honestly, I hated them ever since then. Um, yeah. Uh, I had different views. Yeah. I liked them a lot. But I, I was so mad that I was sitting in the calf with... Who was I with? Was I with you? Dude, no, I, I was with Brennan. And it was just, it was like a few days after they cut that down. So I'm like, all right, I got to call Kron. All right, I got I to gotta give, <laughs> give him a piece of my mind for cutting down that fucking thing. So I, you know, I uh, star six, seven it, call Kron, and the lady, you know, the big, the big tits? Yeah. She answers, and I go, hello, is this Kron management? She goes, yes. I go, can you make like a tree and fuck off? <laughs> and, she goes, and she goes, excuse me? And I just, you know, but yeah, like, I probably should have ripped into her some more, but that's a Trailer Park Boys reference. Yeah. It's uh, like one of the best quotes ever, Ricky. You if know. you guys haven't watched Trailer Park Boys, you need to watch Trailer Park Boys. I feel like a lot of people don't understand it. Because they can't get through the first few seasons because they're so fucking shittily recorded. <laughs> like, yeah. It's literally recorded like a 480, maybe 720p, not yeah. even widescreen. <laughs> Yeah, it oh. really is a bad show, but it, it's so funny. It's I, so funny. All of last year, I think we we watched countless hours of trailer I've park seen boys. countless hours. Of yeah, we were just rewatch YouTube videos of like the best compilations. Yeah, I, that's why whenever we're here, and you guys are like put on trailer park. I'm like guys, we've seen all these things a hundred times. I can't watch. <laughs> I burnt out of trailer park boys. I know. <laughs> Too bad we can't find another show that's like that. Letter I know Letter Kenny. Letter Kenny's actually I like it better. Well, yeah, Letter Kenny's retarded. No, dude, the humor is not a lot better than Trailer Park Boys. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's smarter humor. The, the, it, it is, is not smarter humor. humor by any means. <laughs> yeah, it is. Trailer Park Boys, I mean, is, it's the dumbest humor ever, man. <laughs> Letter Kenny's just a bunch of fucking Canadians in a field. Yeah, talking like really funny and smart. Like, the jokes in that show are great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I fucking love Letter Kenny. So yeah. the next charge was uh, the Swiss cheese February 19th. For a fire extinguisher, <laughs> smoke detector, <laughs> deck spindles, and a couch. I mean, uh, what, what couch? couch? They had to remove a couch. Wait, what? Maybe it was a couch on the deck. What? We burned that. There's a couch next to the trash. Remember that? We burned that. Oh, one, I'm sure. yeah. They they had, they charged us for getting the couch. They charged us when we put it next to the dumpster. What? It wasn't in the dumpster. How much was that for? That total charge was two hundred and six dollars. We should have read this. We should have read this. I think. Yeah, we should have refused this. This is the first time we actually read this. So yeah. that much to come pick up a couch. We could have got some money back. We'll we could have. But first things first, fire extinguisher. <laughs> uh, um, um, I guess we'll 
guess I'll take the blame for that one. Yeah, that started with you. And then with I me. actually have the video. I definitely just released that in the house for no fun. <laughs> and and I we, <laughs> yeah, and then we decided to test it on a real fire. Oh, yeah, we were, like, lighting pizza boxes on fire yeah, outside. There's a video <laughs> yeah. It's on my Insta. Let's get a fucking look at this. Yeah, it's on my oh. public Instagram account. You should probably make that private. Yeah, you should probably make that private. But yeah, um... So, so I, just explain what happened. Oh, with the fire extinguisher? Well, we were testing out. We were being firemen. Yeah, we had to make sure the house was safe. <laughs> Jeez. That was after Jake had already sprayed half of it in the living room. And it looked like it snowed everywhere. Yeah, yeah I remember I've that. I've always wanted to do that. Oh, but I, honestly, I was testing it. Dude, that was... No, that was in the fall. <laughs> Not that s- wasn't the fall. Yeah, because there's not snow on the well, that's what we're But saying. that's they, when they, they replaced it. Yeah. Yeah, they took We off. I think we actually put the empty fire extinguisher back in the case and just we let did. it sit there. We yeah. did. But what happened was they had to replace that whole wall and drywall. <laughs> oh, because yeah. it wasn't even us. Just over the years, it's been patched so much. Mm-hmm. They put their hand on it, they could push the wall in. Which wall? The one by the front door or the yeah, hallway? Yeah, by the front door. Oh, the Swiss cheese wall? No, no, no. no. Not the one on the left when you walk in, literally to the right, well, like right next to the door. Oh, that little It's stupid wall. that they would put, um, you know, that's that's a, like a metal case, you know, and there's a, a 15 to 20 pound fire extinguisher in there. Mm-hmm. That's It's just screwed into drywall. It's not like it's, yeah. you know. No, it was in studs. Oh, it was? Yeah, yeah. It but was still, it, it definitely like sagged over the years and people would get used it as an armrest and we'd push it up there and like people would put their drinks. It just, it got, it, it was abused and yeah. So abused. It's bullshit. They don't. They, they do. But they had to replace it because there's inspections. Yo, you think about how there's probably beer cans still on the wall. No, there isn't beer cans. Did, in the did wall. they take them out, or did you take them out? So what happened was, uh, there was a. Sh- I put a shit ton in there. Insulation. Oh, it's probably still on the wall. Yeah, I put them up. Remember when you were trying? It was from. You Remember when you just put, started putting trash in the walls? Yeah, dude, it was for insulation. Insula- yeah, insulation. <laughs> no, like, if, I mean, if you cover it up. Like, it was in Dan's wall and your wall, because you tried to shimmy up the hallway for some reason, and mm-hmm. then put these giant-ass holes in there, and I'm like, hey, Jake, look at my new trash can. <laughs> hey, can I get a dipper bike? If you hit the, when you hit the wall, you just hear beer cans rattling. <laughs> that was totally fucked. That was the fuck thing. That was the most fucked thing we did there. No, I don't know about that. No, beer cans, there's probably still in the wall, dude. That, that's a practical use. The it's house smells like a brewery. It smelled like a straight brewery. It probably smells even worse now. It didn't smell that bad. Yes, it did. Jake. We cleaned. I would walk in and the carpet would just be stained with 40s and beer, and I'd just be like, "We would put that baking soda shit down." Hey, can I get a dipper? Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. The fucking Thanks. what was it? Um, the base, the baseboards, and the kitchen were stained permanently pink from Franzia. They definitely were. Yeah, like I we yeah, tried clean those, and I looked down like that shit stained. It was stained so bad. Yeah. Well. At least we weren't charged for that. No, we definitely weren't charged for that. Yeah, and it, it, to go back even farther, we waived the cleaning fee to, to before we moved in. <laughs> we the did. House was I had to move in early, but I cleaned the fuck out of it. We all it. did. We ordered a uh, one of those vac- those carpet bags. Rug doctor. Yeah. yeah, that helped. Yeah, most for definitely. A day or two. And yeah. that charge was two hundred and six dollars and ninety cents for what? Fire extinguisher, smoke detectors. Deck spindles and couch. I wonder why the smoke detectors were out. Wait, they didn't charge us for those, or like, th- did they find us for? for us no, no, no. They charged us for new ones. Oh, uh, what? What happened to the original? Did Dan just take them all out so he could smoke pot? No, everywhere? Probably. I I don't know what the hell happened to the original. I don't. I don't understand that. Charge. I don't think that, maybe they, be maybe before refuted, like the previous tenants took them out. No, we took them out. They may have got a fine. Either we were fined sure. or we someone fucked up fucked them up and they had to replace them, but I I don't know. That's the it doesn't seem right. Especially in February. When was the inspection? I mean they were always over there. I don't know when the inspection was. What oh, they didn't my... get reinspected though, I remember that. What's the next charge? So the same day. February nineteenth. Okay. We got charged for bedroom five door. Drywall and basement sump pump. Which one's bedroom five? I don't know. Titch. Brennan's? Brennan, no, it was Brennan's. Because remember Brennan's door had a giant fucking hole in it. They didn't replace that until the end of the summer. That was his door. Remember? Oh, yeah, because he lost his keys and he had to break it. Oh, I, yeah. I, I broke in his door. I broke in his door. Broke I remember door. I broke in his door because I had to go to Cancun 
Like, I had to fly out to Cancun literally hours before, and I just put a shoulder right into his door. It's business. You got to knock those boys down. It's definitely business. We broke down a lot of doors in that bitch. Chris being a linebacker to J door. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get into that one, most definitely. Yeah, we had this problem with just locking doors, locking ourselves out. and I never had that problem. Actually, I had that problem. You once. had that problem. I, you kicked down your door. No, once. I forgot my keys. Did you kick it down? Yeah, I shouldered it. <laughs> I gave a <laughs> my keys. Oh. oh. I was like, well, how I do you lock yourself out of a door with a deadbolt? Like, the keys are in the bedroom. How the fuck did you lock it? No, we lock them and we lose them. Exactly. I, I mean, I lost my keys. You me. guys lost them. You can't lose keys. Like, that's the most... I can't believe people lose keys. Right. What do you mean? It's very easy I to lose I lost a, a lot. My you man. put it on a fucking keychain, and you have everything on your keychain. Well... Like, if I lose my keys, I can't drive my car, I can't get into my house. That's why I have my car keys separate than my house keys. I will never... Well, that's... No, there's... Ridiculous. No, because when I go Because I gotta grab both sets of keys. When I'm going to a party... I don't want to carry around my fucking giant ass car key because my car key looks like a fucking giant penis that I have in my pocket. Like, it's a fucking big ass piece of plastic. I'm not trying to carry that around in part. Like, this fucking giant ass bitch. What about Look how fucking big this is, dude. I don't want to carry these in my skinny jeans at a party or in my pocket. Shove it up your ass, dude. So, like. You know what they say about big keys? Yeah, I know I got a big fucking cock, so I don't want to hear it. I don't think they no, say No, they don't that say big cocks. Big flashlight. Like, fuck, this thing's like a fucking dildo. They, they, they say big ignition. Ignitions. This thing's a fucking dildo, dude. No, it's got a little shank in it, too. Dude, I, I remember <laughs> losing my key once. I would put it on the top of my door, the door frame. You lost so many And it would keys. fall, it fell behind the door frame and like into oh, the Oh, the wall. trim? Yeah. The behind the trim? Yeah, it fell under the trim. That's impressive. That is impressive. Yeah, that's some good build quality that's, right there. That's a divine intervention right there. God show. <laughs> is it a divine <laughs> intervention or? Yeah, because I put it in that spot for it not to get lost. That's when your key would work to your room. I've I've had this so much like no luck at all when it comes to doors and keys, dude. That's ridiculous. I, last house I lived in a, in my room for six months without a lock. People were just coming in. He came in. He raved multiple <laughs> times. Was that MAC? Yeah, yeah. MAC. I walked into. Uh, yeah, I walked in on you because I knocked like ten times. You guys didn't say what shit. What do you mean? I said shit, dude. Yeah, I said shit. I you weren't loud shit. enough. Oh, and it was like deer in the headlights. It was hilarious. It was stupid. You walked in on him and. Uh, yeah, we'll cut that. Yeah, we'll have to cut that one out. Yeah, right. fuck. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was like. You want to know, know how that god. happened? How that how that lock and the. Oh my lock. god, that was so that was a funny story. Uh, Dan and my. Uh, you know, his girlfriend at the time, um, were in my room, <laughs> banging. And his girlfriend was your cousin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, were, they, were, they were banging in my room, which is fucked up, and, uh... Lightly fingering. Yeah. He lightly came, fingering. He was just, lightly I was fingering. just lightly fingering her, dude. It wasn't sex. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. That doesn't make it any better. Well, like, lightly fingering? Oh, okay. Oh, you're just light. Thank God it wasn't heavy fingering. That'd be pissed. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, her friend at the time was like, oh, that can't happen. They can't be doing that. So I'm going to pick the lock. With a plastic fork? With a plastic fucking fork, she trying to pick a deadbolt. And the, it, the fork broke off, and there was a little piece of it inside, and the lock was just fucked. And I'd be like, I tried to dismantle it, and all the springs just popped out everywhere. It was just, just ruined. So I had another uh, lock. It was big brain hours. Whatever. So... The current house, though, our last house, yeah, all the doors were fucked, you know? I think we fucked every single door. My door's messed up. Chris's, yours, Brennan's, Brennan's both doors. Adam's was fine. Adam's was fine. And that's it. Yeah, the thing is, it really wasn't the door itself, other than Brennan's. He had a hole in his because we were shoving <laughs> golf clubs in there. But mm -hmm. it was, and when we kicked on the door, it, the door frame is what broke you yeah know? you okay. bust the door that's frame. usually what breaks on and all of the fr it just it always looks so bad there's always like sawdust everywhere and, just and then the door hits the wall and you break the drywall behind it it's bad it's always terrible oh i know it's, it's a bad cycle <laughs> and even if you fix it the leasing companies here don't give a shit yeah, well, yeah. like when nick got charged yeah. for his door because i kicked it in the day before i leave for back home Literally got woods like putty and everything fixed it. It looked brand new. It would paint. Nick painted it over and it looked like nothing happened to it. Uh -huh. The leasing office still charged him two hundred dollars. Oh yeah. The door was fine. The door jam was fine. It just you couldn't tell it was broken mm -hmm. unless you scraped off the paint. But nope. They nickel and dime you for everything. They will. Two hundred dollars for a shitty wood door. 
Yeah. They'll always nickel and dime you. They gotta make money. The management company do. doesn't make a lot of money. They're they're just you know. No, dude. No, the management company makes a lot of money. Really? They bought these yes. houses for dirt cheap. They didn't buy them. No, they no. just manage them. The money is in managing the homes. Really? Yes, because you can mark up your price a lot. and you never take a loss. True, but you never take a loss because the owner always pays you. But I'm saying the the majority of the rent goes to the owner, right? Yeah, but you got to think you're making money by not really doing anything, and if you send maintenance people in there, those maintenance people are basically working for the owner. So everything that they do is directly charged to the owner for okay. a marked up price. The owner is the one that can get screwed. Yeah. Let's say, let's say our bill was ten thousand dollars and we only paid fifty six hundred dollars. The owner has to have Karan's lawyers take it to court, no. and that's where the owner can get fucked. Or how much he's paying the management company. Ah, uh, it's probably a percentage. But yeah, all around, it's just a big, they're all thieves. They just, you know, take advantage of college students and charging $600 a room, you know. And uh, ah, I mean, it's the market, man. That's how it works. All right, so... I mean, it's, it's not It's not taking advantage. It's just It's just the market. That's how it works. That's the running rate in East Lansing. If you go to Central, you can get a fucking apartment for two, three hundred dollars. If you were to mortgage Woodmere just yourself, how much would you be paying in rent? Um, that house is about a quarter million dollars. Okay. Because of the location, all that kind of stuff. Definitely not the integrity of the house. Um, you mortgage that. More or less than what we were paying in total a month. Oh. Way less. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like I have friends out of USF who paid how much you guys did for rent. They live in a townhome, nicely air conditioned, brand new townhome. They pay like yep. six hundred dollars a month, and it's five of them living in there. It's the it's so nice. Six hundred total, or six hundred each. Six hundred each. What? Oh, oh, but it's fully it's like fully furnished, air conditioning, brand new, townhome. You have your own townhome. Well, we could do that too. There's nice apartments around here, but they're so expensive, dude. A nice apartment here is over a thousand a month. True. True. A shitty True. apartment's nine hundred dollars a month here. It's expensive to live in the Midwest yeah, compared to the South. For single bedroom, yeah, single bedroom. Single bedroom that price down at USF would get you a nice ass apartment, with, like actual central air, not the shitty like window units they have here at Berkshire. Right. You know, they get you a nice ass apartment or townhome. Yeah, it's but insane. They'll hook it up. Fucking yeah. East Lansing sucks. East Lansing is just very overpriced. Well, I mean, that's the going right here. That's the there's market. Because there's so here. many fucking students, yeah. and the town is so small. And they can't build new shit. I mean, they can't they just give them old shit and build new apartments. And, and there's also a lot of people here that aren't students, and it's it's a constant war of, like, a zoning war. Like, well, we don't want students over here. You know, a lot of this is just for... And it, it's just, it's yeah. a never-ending battle. Well, there's actually some more reform coming up. With, I actually know this one of my classes... One of my professors like really big into East Lansing and Lansing zoning and TIF reformation. There's actually some new laws huh. coming in place like this year or next year about zoning. Like they're going to change everything about it. Damn. Yeah, and they keep letting that's what my project's people. about. Like this year, we had another record freshman class, and they just keep growing. It's we don't have room, you know. I mean, that's I mean they're they're starting to the city's starting to grow with the apartments, and it's starting to look like Ann Arbor with the high rises, but. The, the area is not big enough. It's not big enough because it's literally campus, and then across the street for like, how many square miles do you think Grand River to here is? Not that much. It's not, not at all. It's really the campus and, is bigger. Yeah, and it's a lot of townies, like permanent yeah, residents. That's there. what I'm saying. Right. Like you have your streets like Gunson is mostly college students. Bailey. Once you get past like the park, it's all college students. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's insane how many people, like, cram into this small... Like, East Lansing is really fucking it's, small. It's, yeah. It's, it's like, it should be a right to have student... Ho- or to have options to live, you know? And the dorms are so shitty here. To have affordable housing for students. But it's just not the case. They're like, they just expect you to be like, alright, you're gonna cough up whatever it is, you know? Yeah, it's the market, man. It's how it plays out. I don't think out. it's the market, dude. There's I, been... Ep- it is the fucking right, market. Well, the market has... It, it, it definitely, you know, has an effect, but... No, there's actually been effort to put in affordable housing, but what happened is getting, like, the paperwork, because, like, the zoning and everything, was it was so fucking hard to get the proper zoning for, like, a small bedroom house, a one-bedroom house, or two-bedroom house, because the new laws came in place. Like, they were just getting fucked over because it wasn't a certain percentage back from the sidewalk well, or some shit. The, 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 the real estate companies monopolize East Lansing. There's only a, there's a few companies that own all of the property. Look at all the houses that Cron and uh, CRMC and maybe DTN. I know they own a few houses, but it's only like those. It's like the big three who just buy up all these fucking houses. They bought them up probably decades ago and have just been, you know, 
reaping the benefits and just oh come. these houses are fully paid for like oh yeah oh okay. yeah so they're just literally printing money and it's not like they're taking that money and putting them back into the houses they're, they're oh, pieces fuck of no. fucking shit they're, they're slumlords man but when the was thing- one here built 1912 it was oh, something like that. That. Was, that was the Sunset House was built like in 1912. They were all built early. But you, know. but you have to think of it. It's the market. Literally, the supply is super low and the demand is super high. That's the more saying. apartments that they build, as soon as the supply gets higher than the demand, the rates are going to go down. Yeah. Well, I don't think that's ever going to happen because MSU is pushing so many college students you know, throughout the university yeah. and they're expanding the university to make sure you have a shit ton of college students yeah. that the supply of apartments just has to keep up. Well, the thing is, everyone that goes here, most, a majority of them don't see a problem with paying that. That's the thing. If there's a lot of resistance against this, people would start, you know, if people started complaining about this is too high and things would change, but no one gives a fuck. Everyone's like, fuck it, whatever, my parents are going to pay the seven hundred. Because it's MSU. It's MSU, whatever. They yeah. know. They know that they can do MSU that. is literally the middle to upper middle, like, middle class university. It's, U- it's, it's U-, U of M, MSU, then, like, all the other ones with CMU. College is Yeah, like, and, like, you have to think of U of M. You know how much it is to fucking have a nice so place there? Very expensive. expensive. So fucking expensive. That's a big, that's a big city, too, but they, they have a... And guess what? You could take a student loan out for fucking housing. That's yeah. ridiculous. Well, they have... That should be... That's what I'm saying. It should be a right to be able to have affordable housing. And the dorms... No, are it should not be a fucking It should be right. a right. It should be. All right, all right. We're not going to get into politics on this podcast. Yeah, the because dorms aren't even that, the dorms aren't even that cheap either. No, the, the dorms, dorms... are way more expensive. Yeah, it's like... Yeah. What the fuck, MSU? It's all fucked. The whole, the whole education system is fucked. Just all... Might as well just commute. You'd say it, way more. Here's my thoughts on it. If you don't like it, just don't go here. <laughs> That's what it is. That's, That's literally what it is. is. That's basically. But most freshmen who are incoming don't know this. They really don't, unless they have they've had siblings or their parents are alumni. They, you don't know it. You know. Yeah. yeah. There's a high school. How many high schools are here? Like, there's a lot of people. Like, it's it's a game versus the students and the people who actually live in Okemos and East Lansing. It's who the fuck would want to live in Okemos, bro? Let's be honest. Okemos is dope. There's a lot of people in Okemos. You ever been to fucking Okemos? I've been to Okemos. It's like in the neighborhood. Downtown Okemos. It's depressing. Sucks. It's depressing. It's like, this, you, is, this is all your life is? This is boring. Well, downtown Okemos? Well, downtown Okemos sucks dick. It, it sucks. But there are No, some nice but like the actual houses? Dude, they're half million, million dollar neighborhoods, dude. It's Okemos, though. Well, I mean, what It's are, next to MSU, that's why it's so high. Yeah. Whatever. But Let's go on to the next one. Let's go to the next one. So, we got charged on. March 19th for sighting. What happened to the sighting? The golf balls? No. Oh, oh what yeah. do you do? Throw a golf club or something? A rock. Uh, Threw a rock at her sighting and also the window that broke the window. It's a big window, too. Yeah, I think that was part of the I think window charge. How much was the big window or the small ones? Big one. It was the big center one? Uh, like, no, I think it was one of the small crank out ones. It was still kind of big, though. Yeah. 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 Totally fucked that up. Um, he was going through some stuff, <laughs> and uh, he was hammered. Yeah, of course. And totally fucked it all up. It happens, you know. You throw a rock through a window, whatever. You throw it a smeared off bottle at a t- porcelain toilet and blow up the toilet. Eh, you spill your hand open. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know about anything about that. Ugh, yeah. I still got the fucking scar. <laughs> now, um, on April nineteenth, day before fourth one, screens. <laughs> Screens and roommate door wrap. What's door wrap? That's like this the trim? This is the trim? For what? For what? what's door wrap? Dan's room. What? What about it? I'm, I'm they lost. charged you guys for the wrapping paper on Dan's door? What? No fucking way. Really? No fucking way. How much? The total charge. Screens, it could be like all oh, his because we broke into his. Oh, yeah, I always break yeah. into his room. That's why I think we, but no, everybody's we, screen was fucked. But we never broke the screen, we'd always pull it off. We never broke it. I think it definitely got bent. The uh, top, the, the top floor was bent. Some of those were bent. Oh, for sure. From drunk fucks trying but to go on the balcony. $321 for screens and taking Dude, wrapping why paper. Why did we look at this bill way earlier? But we, I don't know. <laughs> we, would, we would have had to hire you. You could have fought like that one easily. Three hundred dollars to fix the screens we and wrapping paper on a fucking door. Yeah, usually, that takes you five seconds to take off the fucking door. Yeah, yeah. we should have. Um, 
And we would have had to hire legal help to, and that would have been super expensive. So I it's, guess it's really should have called uh, MSU. Figer should have called Josh. No, no we could have got uh, MSU. Yeah, MSU legal they, services. I don't they know. actually would do a good job you with think? that. Yeah, this is the bread and butter. This and MIPs. Also, uh, missing one broken living room screen, three screens uh, in the living room. Missing. One was missing. I feel like they weren't even in there when we moved in. I, were, were I bet ever, they weren't. Were there ever screens? No, I bet they weren't the missing. Oh, they did. They're just in the French drains. Yeah, the one <laughs> facing Admiral, we never had, because we always had a fan in that window when it was hot out. We why definitely did, popped out the screen. Why did we have screen. to push out the screen? What's the point of pushing out the screen? So we could, so our lazy asses could get beers outside? I don't know. Remember <laughs> remember when uh, Brennan cut the screen and what? put it on a coat hanger to make it a strainer? Oh, I did dumb. that. I did that. You did that? Yeah. I've never seen that. I cut out right. my... So we, we, <laughs> we didn't have a skimmer for the, the hot tub, so we were like, fuck it, we got these screens that are just laying around. Let's cut them and make our own makeshift... I remember that. That was skimmer. fucked. And that was a piece of shit skimmer. That was probably the worst skimmer. It was ever. probably cheaper just to buy a skimmer. Yeah. 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 Hindsight, it it would have been way... Yeah, well, that cost us $321. Just yeah, you want to pinch a penny. A skimmer's like 15 bucks. I'm pretty sure. Yep. But whatever, you know... Brennan was an engineer. He wanted to use his amazing engineering skill to... Uh, that he dropped out of. That he dropped out of, yeah. What is he in now? A uh, nutritionist, I think. <laughs> he, needs to take his, he needs to start taking what he's learning up. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, oh man. He looks like a fucking pumpkin. Shout out to Brennan. Go for a jog, dude. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. I need to, too. Fuck. But yeah, no, that's, that's fucked up that uh, they charge that much for screens. But yeah. Uh, there's so the three screens was $122. What the fuck? There you go again. Just crooks, absolute crooks, crooks. taking advantage of us. Screen is screen material is so fucking cheap at Lowe's or Home Depot. Yeah, it's the labor, man. Those guys make. Oh, dude, yeah, so hour. hard getting the frame and just pressing it in there. Oh, that's a lot of fucking. Dude, do you know how high they are when they're doing that? Oh, probably, dude. <laughs> they're probably cutting little bits out of the screen and uses a filter for their fucking bomb. Probably. Uh, well, bombs. well, what happened was. They smoked a shit ton of OG skunk, yeah. and then they just got That's off the rails. What That's what it was, the OG yeah. skunk. it was the OG skunk. Yeah, they had terrible headaches. Yeah, 100%. Whatever. Now, the next one was bedroom one, broken blinds. Which one's bedroom one? Was that yours? That was Chris's? No, I believe that was four. Chris? No, I wasn't four. Who the fuck? I, I heard the, the numbers on was Oh, that? that's yours. On bedroom one? Yep, it starts on the f- ground floor. They fucking charge you for... I never had blinds. blinds in my room. Oh. Blinds? Dude, I never... Someone's blinds were just bent to shit. That's every college apartment. Or house. Yeah, I think it was all like that. It was $75 for that charge. Oh, no! The blinds fell... Well, the blinds fell off the, in the living room. Remember that? The, all, the, the, the whole fucking, like, yeah, blind yeah, setup? Yeah. How'd that fall off? I don't know. I just uh, I remember oh, yeah. coming home from a party the night before, and I saw the whole crown molding mm-hmm. and the blinds attached to that crown molding yeah. on the on the ground. Yeah. So I was like, "Fuck!" So basically, I had a bunch of like supplies from painting, and I put it on the wall, and I caulked it all in. Yeah. And I hammered a couple more nails in there. And I painted it real quick, just off white. Yeah. And uh, it didn't work, did it? No, it worked. Oh, we really? didn't get charged for it. Oh, really? Yeah, no. Nice. Good work. Yeah, thanks, dude. <laughs> Getting charged for blinds. That's so fun. Because uh, you know they put the cheapest available blinds. Like They replace them every single year, man. Dude, the blinds here, you're not going to get charged for the blinds here, actually. You know how they just break for just... Mine break. Mine broke, like, last year just for opening them. Mm-hmm. I didn't get charged. Same with 731. Like, they don't give a fuck because they know how cheap these blinds are. Yeah, Jarvis did a lot of handiwork. Throughout the time, and yeah, and it house. definitely didn't pay off. It didn't no, pay off. I think you spent more on repairing the house than you would have made back. How yeah. many holes do you think you, uh, patched? dude? Just Swiss cheese wall. I patched like thirty holes on that wall. Thirty, yeah. You should just got holes. a sheet of drywall at that point. What was the most interesting thing we threw into a wall? A Swiffer. A Swiffer. Or a pan. yeah, definitely a Swiffer. The Swiffer or the pan or the cr- cross from a Halloween costume. We were just chucking. Did you guys have? Uh, Fucking ninja stars? Uh, no. Something was, close to it. I remember star. knives and forks starting getting thrown at yeah. the wall, too. Spoons. That was... How oh, the I, fuck do you I get got, a spoon in a wall? Dude, I got a quarter in one of the walls. You did. Stuck Jeez. right in there. The Swiffer was the best one, though, that we got stuck in the wall. Lots of golf balls. It's, 
It started with the frying pan. I you guys just fucked up my Swiffer. I threw a baseball on the wall, too. Dickhead. Not really the baseball. We threw golf balls on the wall, too. We, we hit golf balls on the wall. Yeah, we did. Lots of them. Your Swiffer's fucked. You guys are yeah. fucked. We threw a pan... My the, pan. Yeah. The pan, my the, pan. The pan is what started it, dude. I swear we, we were taking frozen meat from the freezer. For yeah, we were doing that too. too. Um, expired frozen meat. Oh, I think we threw that outside. How does fucking frozen meat expire? Dude, it was, no, it was something cooked. It was this giant bag of pasta and ground beef. Oh, that was, was yours. That was mine. It oh, was not fucking expired, oh, dude. My fucking masatuli. Yeah, <laughs> I remember. I came home. I'm like, I was going to eat it. I. Whipped open the fucking yeah, they, freezer, and they, then you guys threw it out on the fucking threw, street. Yeah, they threw Dickheads. it in the front. No, they threw it in the front lawn. Bro, that monster chili was in there for like months. It was frozen. Jake, you know how long frozen food fucking yeah, lasts? I don't know, dude. That fridge is kind of smelling bad. You got, yeah, it was frozen like a fucking rock. You gotta eat that, dude. What? It's just yeah. It's I was chilling. going to. It's just chilling there. It's gonna get. It's not the fridge. It's it's, it's a get, fucking freezer. I'm mean, gonna get chucked, man. Remember, remember our, our technique for keeping the smell out of the house? We just duct tape the fridge. I think we said this in a previous Yeah, we definitely talked about it. And just spraying Febreze on every square inch of the house. And duct tape. Great method. It, does, it, it works until you open the fridge. It doesn't do shit. No. It definitely doesn't do shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand what it is with guys and not throwing shit out, you know? Uh, we have golf clubs for that. Yeah, true. It is, it, it is way more fun, honestly, to just hit shit with golf clubs. Dan's PS3 controller. Oh, yeah, he was mad. I would be too. Yeah. yeah. Except the, the, control, the controller didn't even work last time I checked. Yeah. Um. I, I'd also like to point out like all the crazy furniture we had in there because Big Ten closed and oh were, my god. There's this liquor store that was inches from us and they closed down and they're like, you guys want all of our like, uh, like racks and shit they kept out <laughs> and like all this like memorabilia from like you know like alcohol and we took it all and it was just all strewn throughout the house you know dude the garbage that was shit, funny. The, the giant coolers yeah the coolers those lasted a total of like three weeks before we smashed them yeah we're just sma- we're just so violent you know we're just angry <laughs> I don't know why we're, we're just so angsty angry. men yeah oh uh, whatever where the fuck were we oh but uh, if we're talking about the holes in the walls uh Jarvis would patch them but we also had this other technique of just hanging up flags to cover yeah. up the wall. Like, to just cover up the Dude, wall. Yeah. A, a flag covered the Swiss cheese wall for yeah. the longest time. We had like 10 flags up. It was like, we had like one hallway where it was like British flags. And it was only because like, <laughs> we so there were so many holes in that wall. Yeah, it was great. And then when we want to throw something away, we just move the flag and put it yeah. in the Dude, no, there was the one, there was the one hole on the Swiss cheese wall lower below the coat rack that I just duct taped the box of Franzia to to cover up the hole. Yup. That one was the best. And remember, I spray painted it. You spray painted it the match. <laughs> yep, I spray painted the match. Yeah, that worked out well. So, um, we also did that when we taped the chalkboard wall. I spray painted it black. Remember when you just had masking tape over the holes in the hallway? Yep, just like just masking yeah. tape. Yeah, I'm just like, we just put masking tape over it. Yeah, didn't work too well. No, we definitely ripped it off. <laughs> so I probably wanted to throw something away. <laughs> yeah. So the next one is Brennan's room, bedroom two. Replace two doors and bent screen. Yeah, he was the only room with two doors. And his doors were fucked with. Yeah. Seven hundred and seventy five dollars. Wow. wow. That's one that's one person's security deposit just for two fucking doors. Two doors and a bent screen. Wow. So what happened was Aren't doors like fifty dollars at fucking Lowe's? Well, that, no. They bought it was like five hundred dollar doors. He spray painted a giant penis on Brennan's. Uh right? no, I painted it by hand on a nice brush. <laughs> I had to get the grains in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The so explain why you had to destroy and vandalize his doors. Because it's fucking Because Brennan. Brennan's a fuck. Well, I mean, I broke his fucking nose at the beginning of the year for being an asshole. Yeah, so, he's like, an asshole. Yeah. Well, remember what he did? Remember the, what he sold? Yeah, he sold my Jägermeister machine. That was like $300. That's honestly a valid reason. He sold it at a party yeah. for 50 bucks. And then I just kicked in his back door. Yeah. And then... We started jamming like golf clubs. Yeah, I was shoving. No, 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 no! I didn't put the hole in it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I did. did I started did. with a driver. I, yeah. I just hit the driver and yeah. I put a hole in it, and it was small. Yeah. And then we fucked with Dan's door. Yeah. <laughs> and then Dan got pissed, 
and thought it was Brendan, but it was actually me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. And Remember the wrapping paper we put on his door? Yeah. That was a good idea. Yeah, yeah that was a great idea. I think all of us did it. And yeah, it wasn't I'm, really Brennan. I was just And like, then Brennan got fucked with. Yeah. And Dan took the fire extinguisher, made that hole nice and big. Yep. And then I remember putting peanut butter and oh, the toilet door. paper oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I would into sh- the hole. Also, every time I'd go to see Jake, I'd always shove something from the closet, like the linen closet, in this fucking hole, just like pile it up. Yup. Just decorations. It was definitely decorations. Yeah. <laughs> the doors got fucked with the most. Um, I know there was points where how, every door had something carved in. I know Dan, Dan did Dan it. Dan carved it into my door. You carved it. Don't touch my door. And then I carved poop into his door. <laughs> <laughs> I also carved poop into one of the bathrooms, upstairs bathroom door. Um, and then I know Brennan's had some shit. Yours may have had some shit. Yeah, don't touch my door. Don't touch my door. Yeah, thanks, Dan. And yeah, thanks, Dan. And then to to combat that, you got on the whole peanut butter trend, and we were taking. I remember that. Giant- I took a jar of peanut butter, <laughs> and I would put it on a doorknob, and then pull it out, and it'd be covered. <laughs> and, and, and it's, it was like camouflage so well that you wouldn't know. You just reach for it, then you just feel this like. Remember when I put it on the out, outside door, <laughs> <laughs> at the you, side door, the and what? then fucking. <laughs> Put his hand on it. He was so pissed. Yeah, he got really mad. <laughs> he was shit. so pissed. He was so mad. He was pissed. I, mean, I, said, I think you put toothpaste on my door one, at, at one point too. Yeah. Yeah. I was hammered. That's all right. <laughs> oh, I'm fuck. a good sport usually. I really, I don't, I didn't get too mad. Hey, somebody put cheese on my door. Oh, I remember kind that. Of cheese. I remember that. Just I had cheese. That on wasn't me, but I remember someone was. I remember that. I'm like Jarvis, why the fuck do you have cheese on your door? It made, it made, was I it, got cheese, bro. Was it squirt cheese? No, it was like American cheese. I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, that's not bad. It was like Kraft Singles. That's not bad. But it was melted. Yeah, it was melted, dude. It's not real cheese. It takes like a fucking lighter to melt that shit. What? What's yeah, it was. It was some fuck. It uh, was like melted on there. Whatever. Now, they they don't even list like. Dates anymore. They just oh, they, they don't even list dates anymore. They start with the longest one, I'm sure. Bedroom four, kicked in door, <laughs> and replacing two screens. Five hundred fifty dollars. Wow. Remember when Chris never had a screen for the longest time? We just throw bread in through his window. Oh yeah, <laughs> we were just throwing loaves of bread in through his window. He's playing like Battlefield or some shit. He deserves it. Yeah, yeah. and bedroom four was definitely <laughs> door. Yeah. And uh, what we did was we took a video. We had Chris. Didn't he put on a football helmet? Yes, he put on some shitty fake. It wasn't even a real football helmet. Yeah, just a fake ass football helmet. And he's a big guy, you know. He's he's very big. He's a lineman. Lineman. And uh, he got his three point stance. Poked his ass up in the air. Started sprinting. Hands up. Five miles per hour. Run through. Dropped his shoulder, poof, right through the fucking door, and then as he panned through the camera, ass crack out. Yeah, I mean, in all its glory, that door was probably gonna be after a place from Jake and I just doing line drives with golf balls down that. Oh, hall. true. Yeah. And that was the story of the ass crack lineman. Yeah, Chris's ass crack was always out. That man it still is. What are we talking about? He cannot, once? <laughs> he cannot conquer that beast. His fucking ass crack is just always just. You know how. You buy like a thirty rack of beer, yeah. and like the the cans are like you know you have like one like row, and then you yeah. have another row, and there's that little <laughs> like piece of cardboard, yeah. like kind of like, yeah, like, yeah. I told Chris, I'm like, dude, to hide your ass crack, you should shove that into your <laughs> pants and then behind your shirt. So if you bend over, the ass crack isn't out at all. Yeah, you need to just like I don't know, put on wear a belt. belt. <laughs> wear a belt. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Well, you can't wear a belt with sweats, bro. <laughs> I've never had a problem with my ass crack hanging out of my shorts or my pants. I've well, never... he has, like, no ass. It's just all it back. It goes from it's all back, back. <laughs> back to ass. Yeah. So, like, there's nothing there. No. <laughs> stop looking at the man's ass. It, dude, it's just no, there. it's looking at you. You can't <laughs> even fucking stop. It's honestly just there sometimes. <laughs> it's just there. It's like, hey. I saw it three times yesterday. <laughs> wow. What did I miss oh, yesterday? God. He was just going to put his groceries away. I saw it. Saw it. <laughs> saw it. My ear, saw it everywhere. Yeah. Yum. Super glue it. Yeah. You need super glue. <gasps> no, get a quarter. Just put quarters in. I know. I was saying, dude, I could, I could chuck a quarter in your ass crack a mile away. <laughs> in my high school. Oh, fuck. So, after bedroom four, bedroom five, broken register. That's Chris's room. What the fuck? So, what do we do? Register. Oh, oh the vat in the floor? Oh, no, it's Dan's room. 
What is it? Broken register, yeah. Whatever. Whatever. They, they 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 count that as a bedroom. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you know it's not on the lease. Yeah, it's some some uh, some context. Dan lived in a room, a room that we room, called it a closet. It was actually a, it was a it was probably closet. about the size of what? it was not a storage closet. So it actually is a bedroom, but the East Lansing code, it is not big enough to be yeah, a bedroom. Yeah, it was very small. It was like maybe where your bed it is. It was smaller than a dorm room. It was small. Yeah, way smaller than a dorm room. Yeah, it's probably from like this table. Over to the wall. But they had a big ass closet. Not yeah, it had a decent sized closet. It was just same size as mine. It it was just it, yeah. And it, it's so crazy how we were always in that room. We packed like yeah. I was always we packed like eight people. I would walk over night. and I'd be like, "Why the fuck are you guys in Dan's room and not the living room where there's nice fresh air and fresh fresh, fresh, fresh air? air? Better <laughs> than the stank of Dan's room. Let's be real. Well, it's because Dan would never True. leave his kid. That room had its own ecosystem when he got the humidifier. It did. When he got the when, everything changed once he got that humidifier. You'd walk in there and be like, am I in the fucking Amazon jungle? What the fuck's going on here? I can't breathe. It smells like pot. What the hell's going on in here? Yeah, his room, the sheets were white and then they turned brown. They were they were like cream and brown for the rest of the school year. Yeah, it was like the perfect cup of coffee. Yeah, his room was nasty. It was the nastiest room. That man never cleaned. Oh. Uh, he had the nastiest fucking room. He did, dude. Oh, so yeah, whatever. I don't remember him doing laundry. We're true. No, he never did laundry. He never did laundry. It was your girl did laundry. Yeah. Dude, not laundry. I bless her for that. And she those those laundry. actually broke. I don't, I'm not gonna blame her, but uh, we were I, were we charged. For she washers? broke. She broke the. Were we were we uh, charged for washers and dryers? Or no? What'd she do? Fuck no. Me. Overloaded. They're like leaking. I don't. She did like laundry three times a day, dude. What? Shit, you're not. Shit, yes, you're not. man. The only thing I got mad about, I really appreciate her doing the laundry. Yeah. But <coughs> the only thing I got mad about <coughs> was uh, she would do the laundry. And then put it in the basket and leave it in the room. <laughs> yeah. Without, like... In the, wa- in the in the washer room, right? No, no, no. Because no. I would walk in there, I'd see it. I have sometimes. But uh, she would leave it in my room and everything would get wrinkly. Yeah. I'm yeah. just like, come on. You got to do the whole process. If you're the whole it. process. I mean, if you you can't half-ass yeah, half. it. I'm going to take a piss real quick. All right. So, the next thing I want to okay. get into... So they had one of Chris's white claws. Right. Yeah, grab one of Chris's white claws. For you? Thanks, no, no, no. For Jacob. I'll grab one too for myself. Yeah. Just snag as many as you want. <laughs> <laughs> so the register, a broken register cost eighty dollars. Well, I mean those aren't metal, dude. They're like that's like a. I mean I don't know. Eighty fucking dollars. Dude, we should Hold price on. match it and look at fucking Home Depot, dude. They, I'm sure half of that was labor, or maybe like seventy five percent labor because. Um, Everything's up charge like that, and I don't know. I mean, that is a that is a weird piece of metal. I don't know where you could. I mean, I'm sure you can get it at Home Depot, but let's see. I oh, eight ninety eight. Wow. What is it? Where the Where the fuck do they get their prices from? Do they just roll some fucking dice, or do they spin something? And ninety percent markup. No, it's hundred percent markup. Dude, almost. It, dude, fuck. I would love to. I wish we had a copy of the lease, and we could really just break it down and just see why. Is there is there anything in the lease that says we can charge you whatever the f- I mean they, it probably is we can charge you whatever the to fuck a certain you want. extent yeah. yeah we you signed so I guess we'd be fucked anyway but it, whatever how would you even fight that I don't think you can you know unless you and then you charged it again for rekeying the house and now is when we moved out well that's that's expected no it's because we didn't return our keys <laughs> and that's how much was that eighty one dollars eighty one eighty four you want grapefruit or lime oh I don't care. Which one should I give him? Just give me one, dude. Uh, it's a white claw. They all give him the like grapefruit. Shit. The lime's I'll actually take, pretty I'll good. I'll take the grapefruit. Yeah. I'll, I'll Mister, drink, I don't like limes. I will drink anything, dude. We know. <laughs> I, I, I will drink anything. When was the last time you actually bought alcohol instead of bumming it off in the air, Chris? I've uh, bummed pretty much the, for a month now. It's been great, dude. Yeah, I know. I went to reach in my keystone. <laughs> I went to reach in my keystone case, and I'm like, where the fuck did all my... Ke-? I'm like, oh, yeah, Jake came over and had, like, six of them. Yeah, dude. That's fucked. It's what bros do. Hey, <laughs> I'll Venmo you, dude. I don't care. I don't I'm care, joking. Jake. I don't care. I would never Venmo you. <laughs> but you know <laughs> I don't care. Like. All right, so the next one. Tenant items left behind. What did we leave behind? What? Everything? The dishes? Couches. 
We left behind a, a lot of dishes. Just shit I'd say all over a, the place. I'd say that's a gift to the next tenants, some free yeah, dishes. The, the last tenants left a whole dishwasher full of dishes for Yeah, that, they left us a full that's dishwasher. That's the secret, just hide it in the dishwasher. And the dishwasher was never empty throughout the entire year, either. No. I never heard that dishwasher run once the entire year. I don't think it worked. Time. No, no I, I ran it. I definitely ran it in the summer. You're right. You guys just threw shit in the sink and be like, it's soaking. I never did that shit. Yeah, if I had a dishwasher, I wouldn't fucking do that. Like, I would just rinse it off and put it in the dishwasher. But now I've got to hand wash everything, so then it just sits in the sink for a while. That's what women are for. Oh, God. You're right, yeah. When my ex ex was up here, she, like, did my dishes during the week, and it was awesome. Well, it's her duty. No, she said she's (laughs) like... Shut up, man. Shut up. She's like, I like doing dishes. And I was because like, it's in her DNA. It is. <laughs> I need to get her back, but uh, that's so. Uh, but that's uh, you need your dishwasher back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. Oh, uh, so bedroom six, two blinds, one hundred fifty dollars for two fucking. What blinds. are these blinds made out of, dude? Cardboard. Gold. No, they're fucking cardboard blinds. They're just like two hundred percent. Yeah, I know. I was trying to make a joke, dude. Fucking uh, shit. Look up the price of blinds, man. I mean, I know it's it, it's. A big thing for houses, but... Dude, they're, they're like, like, super cheap. They're the cheapest blinds you could get. They're builder grade. Yeah, everything's builder grade. Dude, that whole house is a, just a... Uh, like, choice. actual really good blinds. So, like, blinds are expensive if you have to hire somebody to install them. And if you get good blinds. Yes. And if you get good blinds. But I see... Bertram Woods blind, $30. Yeah, dude, those blinds are cheap as fuck. They're oh, cheap. it's the And that's not even buying in bulk. But... Bulk? What's bulk? Bulk? Like, how? what's the number that's bulk? A lot. Like, hundreds. hundreds of thousands of what? blinds at the same time. Who the fuck would need that many blinds? Uh, a leasing company? Yeah, like DTN. <laughs> hundreds of thousands Honestly, of blinds. Honestly, DTN's the best leasing company to lease from. Yes. They are so cheap. 100%. Like, you, they, they don't give you lights, though. They do not give us lights. <laughs> no. Dude, their payment policy is like crazy. You can be three days late in rent every month. They don't charge you until after that third day. It's yep. insane. That's nice, but I guess it makes up for the lights. But the blinds that we had in the house, $12.34. Wow. Robert. Fuck you, Cron. Thank you, Cron. Robbery. Much appreciated. Literally robbery right there. They robbed us of five. Hey, and up? that was my room. We well, should have beat the fuck out of that so house. So there were short more. blinds. That was my room. Yeah, there were yeah. short-ass blinds. What kind of markup was that? Like 200, 100%? That's a big-ass markup. Like not even charging it's 100 Hundred percent markup. Yeah, and labor. It's not that hard to put fucking blinds in. It really isn't. No, because the you brackets already up. You just pop, pop them right yeah, back. Just pop in. them back in. Now, also in my bathroom, the towel bar. Somebody opened the door way too fast and it hit the bar because of poor engineering. Because they decided to put a fucking towel rack right here and then the door Dude, swings. That, and no, hits that's it. the door stop. Yeah. They didn't have a fucking doorstop. See, yeah, you don't have to spend money on a doorstop if the towel rack is the doorstop. You got to think how they think. Man. Engineering, big brain. Big no, that's architecture. That's some big brain architecture right there. Uh, and then the toilet paper holder. That was. Oh yeah, they're all fucked. Up. Oh yeah, mine's fucked in my dude, apartment. Women now. would do that, dude. True. They will. They'll use a shit ton of toilet paper not, too. Not that. My quilted northern. Yeah, dude. Women will just is come into a bathroom at a random house and just. Fuck it up, like spray shit on the window or on the uh, mirror. Shaving cream all over the no, mirror. No, they will take just the soap and just squirt it out in the bathtub. Yeah, yeah. For what purpose? Yeah, ha ha, we're so quirky and funny. We sprayed soap everywhere in the yeah. bathtub. Ma- well, dumb bitch, that's what soap goes is in the bathtub. You're so quirky. Oh, remember the uh, the shampoo warrior, the shampoo bandit. The MAC. Oh my god, I was so, dude, it, Yes, it was my shampoo. Just everywhere. Yeah, you left your uh your uh, my bourbon bourbon shampoo, shampoo and it was just like bath and body works my it, mom it, bought. It was like consecutive weeks this bandit would come over here and like I just go to parties to spray shampoo and just fucking <laughs> throw it all like, What is the purpose of that? I, what is that who fucking knows, man? I understand like being a girl like punching a hole in the wall or something destructive, but just spraying like that is such petty, it's not even funny. She must have been so petty. she must have been connected with one of us and had a grudge or something. Maybe it was, uh... Only person she could have a grudge with in that house was uh, either you or the other person we shall not name. Has the same name as me. No, I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yes. Maybe. Because other guy in the house was a cuck. The other one was just, like, not all there. And the other one was, like, a seven-year. A cuck and a retard. A cuck and a retard and, um... A a troll. Yeah, a goblin. 
Jeez. <laughs> We're gonna have to go out cutting. <laughs> yeah. Um. Also, my toilet seat was cracked. How the fuck? And I swear, Chris broke it. How do you <laughs> crack a plastic toilet seat? I don't know. <laughs> Chris is a big boy. No, it was like wooden. I swear wow. he cracked it. It was funny because at the end of the year, um, you know, a girl goes to my bathroom and I'm like, yeah, like the end part of the toilet seat. Don't get a fucking. You know, you, you're gonna have to like separate a little bit so you don't pinch your cheeks. Like just, <laughs> just deal with it. <laughs> And uh, they'd be like, oh my gosh, can I use the other bathroom? I'm like, eh, you probably don't want to use the other bathroom. Use, <laughs> they, don't, they don't flush that the That hallway bathroom permanently smelled like ass. <laughs> 100%. Dude, they didn't. I'd rather, no, there was times where I'd rather go piss outside in the backyard yes. than piss in that bathroom. They didn't know how to work the flush. Yep. They, they didn't know the, they, don't, they didn't know, understand the concept No, of when the you flushing. always shower through, like two times a week. I didn't even know how those fuckers showered in there. It's disgusting. Dude, that bathroom that was so was disgusting. So, it was. Well, also the blinds in there were messed up, I guess. And my door, because I did shoulder butt my door in, but they didn't have to replace that door. They can just put like a casing over it. That was well, all they gotta go over the top, hours. man. They gotta go over the top, you know. They gotta charge yeah. the fuck out of you for these builder grade quality. It's so stupid. Yeah. Sublease agreement, fifty dollars, and then trash. What because I guess we left trash house. in the house, and house it wasn't trash. covered over uh, fucking tenant items left behind. The six hundred dollars. It was a hundred. It was $139. Oh, of course not. I'm so glad I live with DTM. They don't charge you. They don't do this shit to you. We should, no. just, we should make you just... Because they want year, Evan. people to release. They resell No, like it. when I lived at 731, I cleaned it before I moved out, but there was still kind of a little bit of a mess. They didn't, They gave me my entire security deposit back. And I didn't have to pay security deposit last year, and I didn't have to pay this year. Because DTM has the best business model. Yeah. They want you to re-sign with them. And I, I, did, I re-signed. So I love living here. Cron, it's just like, I know I'm going to fill up this house. You can resign if you yeah. want, but Dude, fuck if you don't. You understand, I've been a treasurer before. I've worked really shady spreadsheets. This Definitely is exactly all. what this is, dude. This is like... The shadiest spreadsheet. This is, it's by fucking hand. This is that like... That is so unprofessional. This Someone was sitting there going over what... They, I'm sure they were all billed before. You know, they probably bought everything. Had all the bills sitting out front. And we're like, oh, let's put... Just... Uh, 50 more here, 75 more here, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So easy. And we already signed to a fucking lease, and we're not going to be able to dispute any of this. We're not going to hire lawyers because we don't give a fuck. You know, we're moving out. we got to find a new house. Yeah. It's bullshit, dude. So, but yeah, it is a good uh, It's a good artifact to hold on to. Yep, if you guys want to check That's it out. That's worth 5000 fucking dollars. $5,000 sheet of paper. $5,000. you are going to frame it, right? What's that? You're going to frame it? Well, of course. That's, a, that's an artifact of college. It's $5,000. This is like the Declaration of Independence. Declaration of Woodmere. Declaration of... That's yeah. the most expensive piece of paper I think you'll see in East Lansing. Ah, uh, there are... Who, well, well, guys, maybe my diploma, People don't de- get degrees here, so it's fine. Yeah, someone's singing. What the fuck are your neighbors doing? I don't know. Hey, we're trying to do a podcast. Hey, we're trying to do a podcast, <laughs> asshole! Shut the fuck up! The fuck up! <laughs> Dude, I know my neighbors all the time, and I live. I live in. I live in Birchland Woods. <laughs> They're cool. above us. They can't even hear us, dude. But yeah, that's the security positive settlement of Woodmere. And uh, what the? F- <laughs> oh my god, Stop, bro! Oh my god! God! But that's the security positive of Woodmere. So uh, if, if you guys like what you're seeing here with all this debauchery, um, us just having a good time talking about some past stories. She's still fucking singing. <laughs> She's in the shower. <laughs> or it's Chris, who fucking knows. But um feel free to hit the subscribe button. Um <laughs> if you're you know listening over our podcast, make sure to subscribe to the podcast, follow us around Spotify, Apple, YouTube, all that fun stuff. We have a new website, feel free to check out the website, the pre the pregame podcast.com. Also Facebook page, check that fun shit out too. She's We're singing. all over the place. Feel free to check us out. We're just a couple boolers having a fun time. Yeah, buy those flashlights. She's still and fu- buy those flashlights. She's still fucking singing. Is she still fucking singing? Yeah. All right. How well, thin are these walls, dude? The fucking concrete, dude. Yeah, I'm surprised I can hear her. Yeah, she's, she's above us, man. She's above us. She's above us or next to us? I think she's above us. Sounds like she's right there. Maybe like, over her, there. Her shower's probably right there. Yeah. All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> but all right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe, follow us, and uh, we'll see you later. Bitch, I wanna party like Chris Farley.